What's the crack lads? Uh, welcome to PezUniverse.com, an exclusive Pez 2019 first impressions video. It's just going to be my raw impressions. There's no structure to it. I'm just going to blurt everything out. I have another video coming that's going to be like Q&A. So any questions that you have, I will be going back to E3 tomorrow and Thursday so I can check more stuff out. I will be answering as much stuff as I can in as much depth as I can. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, on behalf of Pez Universe and all the lads, it's just been, you know, it's been really really cool i suppose today to represent all the lads i mean they all do unbelievable uh, unbelievable content on the site and stuff like that and to be part of a team like this is is huge um you know and for everyone there to i suppose just you know be representing them is is, is pretty cool and obviously a huge thank you to asim and the lads of konami i mean asim has been you know a brilliant support obviously getting me over um it's been, it's, it's just been a crazy couple of days I, you know, I said myself I didn't want getting caught up in the hype, so even on the live stream today I was kind of trying to keep it, I suppose, casual, kind of, you know, looking for different things. I mean, I saw some people playing it and they were like, just playing it normally, whereas I was like getting real into it, playing against the comm, you know, um, and testing out different things and that, obviously, for the, you know, for the longevity of the game, or longevity, whatever that word is, but, um, yeah, I mean, let's dive straight into it, I suppose, just with my first impressions. We'll start and get the graphics out of the way. Um, the 4K looks unbelievably good in it, like really, really nice. Um, the players, the biggest thing I noticed probably, apart from like the pitch and the movement of the pitch, or the movement of the ball and the pitch and stuff, is just how seamless everything is. Like from the tunnels, the pre-match stuff, celebrations, player emotions, if they score or miss a goal, um, all the way to the gameplay and the default camera. Like it's way more seamless. There isn't as much of a jump in quality in terms of the graphics and stuff. It's just very, it just looks absolutely like so slick. Um, making the substitutions, they're coming on like it's a lot quicker. The loading times seem to be a lot quicker. Um, there's a lot more player emotions as well, like little cutscenes and replays and little action shots. Whoa, nearly fell over. But um, yeah, I mean, just that's the first thing with the graphics. I mean, the graphics are something that obviously they're going to continue to push with the 4K. So if you do have an Xbox One or a PS4 Pro, it's going to be quite it's going to be quite beautiful on the screen um, with a nice telly so yeah I mean the biggest thing I probably noticed and I said this on the live stream as well which thank you very much to Asim for absolutely spanking me on the live stream 2-0 uh, I mean I tried to play the game like PES 2018 he just set me up but we'll get to that in a second um, yeah I mean the attack and defense levels that's probably my biggest takeaway from it I mean there's no one big kind of like you know like exclamation mark on PES 2019 that's my biggest probably takeaway in total overall with it um, it's just the ebb and flow of the game is just really really good like actually getting the ball from your defenders to your midfielders to your strikers like it's a lot more difficult there's a lot more planning it's a little bit slower in the build up um, as I said I've talked to different people I've heard, had different people ask me different stuff on Twitter um, and they've said you know is it slower is it faster it's a little bit more I won't say slower, I'll say more weighty. Um, the ball is more weighty. You can't do passes that you did in PES 2018. Um, you have to trap the ball with, like, with, the, with, the, with the less technically gifted players. Um, but the attack defense levels, just to go back to that, I suppose, and just the passing and bringing all that sort of stuff. Um, the attack defense levels and the AI that control it is, is, I would say that the defense has got a good boost and the attack has got a, you know, a less boost than that. But, it's the defense there seems to be more of an emphasis on making it harder to score this year and that dribbles down pardon the pun but that dribbles down the whole way to the shooting like i was through on goal twice and i missed the finesse shot where it racked off the top you know the top corner that it would have went in nearly automatically last year in pace 2018 and i just overcooked it a little bit because there's more variations on the shooting um but the attack defense levels like i was i was germany in one game playing um i went one nil up and then argentina and messi and Dybala and Higuain and all those like straight away in the second half after leading for about 20 minutes um, they just came on me and then they got a goal back they kind of eased off again and then in the last 10 minutes they made another push so it's like consistent kind of AI rather than you know every team playing the same I suppose um, and that's what I was really impressed with and then obviously the passing um, and the actual kind of weight of the players and stuff was really good as well I mean the passing one thing that I saw as well and I actually tried to kind of like not abuse it but kind of spam it a bit was the back heels last year in PES 2018 it was common for there to be a counter attack where you might have four back heels 
in a row in a passage of play and it was just totally like ugh, like what the hell you're playing Barcelona and I know they're excellently talented players or technical players but it's like back heel back heel back heel but you know you're back to the ball um, this year it seems to be that there's literally no power no weight in, no, in those back heels like they don't really attempt them they try and kind of trap it or they fall over the ball I've seen Messi stumble over the ball sometimes if you press it too early um, there's a lot of little stuff that you'll feel when you pick up the pad um, because as I said going back to the live stream and stuff I did actually play it like PES 2018 I was literally playing it like PES 2018 leaving gaps all over the place um, but you're just not going to be able to run around the pitch like a madman jamming the, the sprint button the fatigue does make a big difference um, especially like with the likes of Neymar and place and players like that the flare players Pogba you might notice it as much I kind of fed back that I'd like to see the stamina a little bit more um, you know have a bit of a heavier feel on the players when you know 70 minutes pass 75 minutes pass um, but the likes of Neymar and stuff like that they literally do feel it you know um, I was playing with Neymar and I tried to trap a ball and he just literally kind of fell over himself it was kind of funny um, and I was kind of like you know I need to take him off because his stamina was completely gone because um, I literally passed him the ball six times trying to get <laughs> trying to cut in from the wing so yeah I mean that's another thing to bring in it's just basically the ebb and flow of it really it was just I don't know it's just like it plays a lot more realistic there's a place in your team for the likes of Cruz who just doesn't need you know he conserve a lot of energy conserves a lot of energy and then he can just kind of pass the ball and let others chase him like I was literally just passing around with Germany when I was 1-0 up um, against the guy I was playing and like his players were getting really tired just chasing me around now he intercepted me um, in the last couple of minutes and scored because I kind of dropped off too deep but um, yeah I mean that's basically kind of nearly everything I suppose that I played it's just my initial impressions if you do have any questions about it get it in Tommy um, I mean I suppose I keep going back to the to the new stuff without there being I'm kind of glad that Konami have like stayed away from like the buzzwords like you know what I mean they've focused on it being a more complete package like I was speaking to Adam and he said like what do you think of the ebb and flow is it too slow is it too fast whatever and I said no I actually think it's really nice I want that when I get on the ball with Van Dijk to kind of have to think where I'm going to pass it rather than if I get on the ball with Salah um, and that's kind of something that was missing in PES 2018 was that player individuality I suppose so the way that the players are spot on the pace of the players are spot on I'd like to see the fatigue a little bit more heavy handed but I did feed that back um, I've seen you know the teams when you're kind of crossing the ball um, you know from side to side they have misplaced it even the computer have misplaced it a lot more interceptions from the computer um, referees and stuff yeah I mean it's again there's the referees I thought um, could have done with a bit of work from PES 2018 um, but the ebb and flow of the game is a lot better now where I think they pull back a lot more play they let a lot more go um, but again I did have a couple of crunching tackles put in and you know you do get punished for it I had one red card um, and it was a deserved red card I had about three yellows um, when I was trying to rough up the the superstar AI they were making a bit of a show of me so I think they beat me like 3-0 so um, I was just kind of testing the referee's leniency I suppose but yeah I mean it's it's all kind of something I'm going to be building on developing for tomorrow and Thursday I'm going to be tr trying out different things but yeah I mean that's pretty much it um, we're going to end it there um, thanks for tuning in to PezUniverse.com obviously huge thanks for the lads um, you know for helping me along I mean they've been putting up content on the site like non-stop since, uh, since I've been over here um, and also as well just to kind of have if you have any questions or whatever over the next couple of hours when this goes up I'll probably be at E3 when this video goes live on the site because I'm like 8 hours behind in LA um, and again massive thanks to Konami and stuff I had great crack on the live stream today I was nervous doing the live stream to be honest um, you know but the lads kind of made it I mean they're making faces and stuff outside the glass when you're doing it and shit like that so it was kind of it was it was just kind of um, it was kind of like a fun atmosphere to be part of while it, like, it was really professional but then there was a bit of banter as well um, which is what it's all about you know so yeah I mean I'll be back with more stuff tomorrow um, that's pretty much it so huge thanks to my camera girl as well and uh, yeah that's pretty much it